Israel C310, uh, what we're doing is we're pumping 1.3 kilometers of a tunnel on a single line push with the swing 3500 that you can see behind. Um, the idea is first stage concrete um, for tunnel one, with a view to start tunnel two on Friday. Um, we're then leading on to two more tunnels in February time, which run from um, Woolwich Box, which is the other end of our tunnel currently, and then going under the river to North Woolwich. Uh, the method that we're using, we're actually installing pipe line on the wall throughout the, throughout the entire tunnel and breaking it and adding in dry pipes as we're progressing. So we're leaving a gap of approximately 400 mil going along with our 90 degree bend and rubber hose as we're installing the concrete to the port. Um, and every time a wagon's finished, we break three pipes and move them along and join them. Um, so there's dry pipes every time we progress. So every single time there's a new lorry on the pump, we need to take it slow to make sure the concrete's filling the line and then pumping as normal. And we're approximately pouring 110 cubic metres per day, um, achieving it in approximately 20, 20 pours per tonne. So this is pour 18, but we've extended the pours. Uh, when we start tunnel two on Friday, we're looking at pouring a, around 200 to 250 meters cubed, which, uh, which will be approximately 130 linear meters. My name's Dale Kelly, I'm managing director and owner of Kelly Form Work Civils, Kelly Form Work UK Limited. At the moment working on four projects on Crossrail, well, we've done four projects. Woolwich obviously being one of them, Bond Street, Paddington and Tottenham Court Road. pipeline which runs from the pump and comes versatilely down the wall and turns with a slow 90 bend into, into the tunnel mouth. The concrete pipeline runs from the start of the tunnel 1.3 kilometers into the tunnel to the very end. The line is bolted onto the wall throughout the duration of the tunnel with two separate clamps on each pipe and a clamp and seal for every single joint throughout the tunnel itself.
inside is the exposed aggregate finish, which is achieved by jet wash the day after after putting retarder on the slab. You can see the saw cut through the middle, which is done the day after to stop any cracks forming in the slab. Eighteen pours, two thousand one hundred cubic meters. Um, total distance one point three kilometers in one single line push, which is a new UK recorded record. How do you feel? Relieved, stress free. I will sleep well tonight. Anyway, we've done it in eighteen pours, so it's eighteen days. Um, not pumping weekend, so it's uh, about four weeks, one month. Tomorrow we start tunnel two, um, straight off the back of tunnel one. Um, the length of the pause we're increasing, obviously because our confidence has now grown. Um, we're going to be doing 150 cube a day to try and complete tunnel two in 13 pause, so it's 100 linear metres a day. With a lot of help from the likes of Swing Stetter with the pumps, we had a big problem with actually reaching the distances. We got in contact with Huey from Swing Stetter. We bought two pumps off of him, which is brought us to somewhere where we needed to be, which was basically breaking the UK record of pumping 1.3 kilometers. So we're nearly there. Boys have worked hard, and I'm sure they wouldn't want to do any more tunnels. 